To win or not to win? That is the question. And I'm going to provide you with the answer. The best case scenario for the Philadelphia Eagles this weekend is to lose to the Washington No Names. To get double moonwalked in the ass, inch by inch, like a gentleman. Yo, everybody, hey, dude, King Ding back here. So, today we have come with the... What the hell is that? It's a big ass dog. Dallas still stinks. Right away, King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great Monday despite the fact that the Eagles got destroyed by the Dallas Cowboys, despite the fact that the Eagles are eliminated from the playoffs. I hope you guys are doing well. We have a few days left of 2020. Thank God 2021 will be here. It's been a tough year for so many different reasons, uh, so I'm glad the new year's kicking in. Now, before I get into this video, Okay, I got to give a huge shout out, a huge shout out to my man, Metal Maniac, man. Shout out to you for winning Philly 500's Flick Chat Contest this weekend. Uh, you won the 30 Fazul, so you need to DM me at Twitter, Yo Philly 500, at Yo Philly 500, or email me, uh, Yo Philly 500 at Yahoo.com. Either one, uh, get in contact with me so we can pay you uh, your prize, and we're going to do one more of these this weekend with the Eagles playing Washington. So if you haven't, click the link in the description, go to my flick chat, it's free to join, and enter a contest, maybe you'll win some money. We need, I mean, don't you deserve to get something out of this year? Uh, maybe you'll win something, you deserve something after the year we have, we've had. It's been a tough year, so be sure to enter. Shout out to Metal Maniac on winning. Uh, you deserve it, man. Now, <coughs> I'm sorry, but I, I Allergies are bothering me. They're kicking in big time the last few days, so I apologize if I'm coughing stuff. But anyways, the Eagles. The Eagles have a lot going on right now, okay? Even in that loss yesterday, uh, we got a lot going on. Today, the Eagles have been flexed in to the Sunday night game versus the Washington No Names. Now, this sucks in my opinion because now we're on national TV and the Eagles don't want to be embarrassed. I'm going to get into that in a second, but I do want to talk a little bit about this game yesterday, okay? Because the Eagles came out, they were up 14-3, to Washington is losing, I thought the Eagles were in a great position. I thought we were getting ready to blow this thing open, then all of a sudden, the defense started to give up big plays. Uh, Dallas was able to go down, score, get back in this game. And really, our defense had no answers for the Cowboys the whole game. The whole game, okay? And I thought Hurts played really well in the first half. In the second half, I thought he was awful. I thought he was awful, okay? And there were people that were calling for Carson to come in. It was that bad. And uh, look, you got to give Dallas credit because basically they wanted Jalen Hurts to beat him with his arm, and, and he couldn't do it. I thought they started to take away some of the running options that he had uh, early in the first half. In the second half, they took it away, and they forced him to have to throw the ball. And obviously, he's got a lot of work to do when it comes to being a passer. He, he's got to learn. It's going to take time to develop. I thought his mechanics weren't too good, uh, which makes you wonder, do the Eagles ever even work on mechanics with their quarterbacks, Carson's mechanics are off, his mechanics are off, and uh, it was the same problem, okay? Doug abandons the run, starts throwing, 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 and uh, it was a problem for Hurts, it was a problem for this offense, and um, yeah, the Eagles lose, destroyed by Dallas, congratulations to the Cowboy fans again on your win, but um, it's over, the season is over for the Eagles in terms of going to the playoffs. However, there is something monumental to play for this weekend. There is something huge to play for, and that is the Eagles getting the best possible pick that they can get, okay? Now, I know there are some people who are like, you should never play to lose, you shouldn't tank, you shouldn't do all those things, and look, you have an argument. When you're still alive mathematically for a playoff spot, and you can potentially get into the playoffs, I understand the argument, okay? I don't totally agree with it. I, I'm very conflicted when it comes to this. However, once your team is eliminated mathematically, you have to do what's best for the team. And we have to take emotion. We have to take uh, what feels good at the moment. You know, beating Washington, having the ability to talk back to Washington, say, hey, we, at least we split with you. You didn't sweep us. You know, you feel good for a day when you win. You know, take all those emotional things out of it. 
and just look at the logic part of this. What is best for the Eagles going forward? What is best for the Eagles in the long run? And it's simple. The best thing for the Eagles is to lose this game. I know that sounds bad, but it is to lose this game because we are talking about the possibility, okay, and it's remote, but the possibility of the Eagles picking as high as number three in the draft, okay, or at worst, if the Eagles win, they would pick 10, okay, we can't pick no, no lower than 10, so 10 at the worst, possibly three at the best, but let me tell you, those spots mean something, especially in the top 10, those are valuable picks, okay, those are valuable picks, I want the Eagles to have the chance to get the best possible player they can. Not just in the first round, but you gotta remember, you also get a high second round pick, a high third round pick. This is important, okay? And the Eagles, all they have to do is lose, okay? And if they lose, get this. If the Eagles lose, they knock out the Dallas Cowboys. They knock out the New York Giants. T those teams are done, okay? So the Eagles, it really, the best case scenario is to lose. I, I know it sucks. I know people don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. You got to take the emotional part of this game out sometimes and look at the logic. The logic is you got a lot of older guys that aren't going to be on this team next year. You win tomorrow or you win Sunday. What, what do you get? You get a worse pick and you still lose these guys. So to me, Getting the best pick is important. Now, they have flexed the Eagles to Sunday night, which means we're on prime time, and uh, the Eagles are going to want to win. That's why Doug Peterson announced today that Jalen Hurts would be starting versus Washington. And Washington, by the way, just cut Haskins, so he's gone. Hopefully Alex Smith plays. But if, if you want what's best for the Eagles in the long run, if you want what's best, the best thing that we can do is lose. It's just the truth, okay? And and I'm not saying it saying, hey, look, we still have a chance to make the playoffs. There is 0% chance you can make the playoffs. You can't make it. You can't make it. The only thing you can do is get a higher pick, okay? Now, to get the third pick overall, a lot has to happen. Most likely won't, okay? You would need these things to happen. One, um, you'd have to have the Houston Texans beat the Tennessee Titans, okay? Now, Tennessee is still fighting for a division, so they're going to be trying to win this game. Most likely, Houston does not win this game, okay? Then, you have to have the Atlanta Falcons beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, okay? Now, this, this is a situation where I think, I think Atlanta could win this game and they, they very well might because Tampa, has got, they've already clinched the playoff spot. They can't win the division. They're kind of stuck in where they're at. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, if any team is going to maybe rest some guys, it could be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Atlanta has a chance to win. Okay. And then the final one is the Bengals have to beat the Ravens. Okay. And the Ravens are still fighting for a wild card. So uh, yeah, I think that that's going to be hard for the Bengals to do. But let's say, let's say the Bengals, they don't win. Let's say um, Houston doesn't win. Let's say Atlanta wins. It, it's going to move you up in the draft, okay? The Eagles are picking, I believe, six right now. I think very, I think most likely if the Eagles lose to Washington this weekend, at the worst, we're picking in the top five. We're picking in the top five. That is huge. It is huge. And if somehow you did get three, if you did get the third pick overall, I mean, you may be able to trade that pick for, for a small windfall, maybe get multiple picks. I mean, there's so much you can do, okay? But I want the Eagles to get the best player available. I want top-end talent, and I know what you're saying. What's it matter if Howie Roseman is picking, okay? First off, Howie Roseman's got to go. Everything I talk about is under the condition that Howie Roseman has to go. If Jeffrey Lurie can't recognize that this guy can't draft and that over uh, since 2010, the Eagles have the worst draft record out of any team, um, then, then, then he's a problem too. You've got to recognize it. You don't have to fire Howie. Just pull him off of being a GM. Get somebody who knows talent. Okay, But even, even if we have a top five pick, I'm not worried about Howie picking the top five guy. I'm worried about Howie in the second round, in the third round. That is where it gets scary. Okay, so we need we need a good we need a good talent evaluator. And and look, Howie, just listen to your just listen 
to your scouts. Scouts last year said Jefferson and Chin. Uh, he didn't listen to them. They were right. Uh, the Eagles draft Andre Dillard a few years ago. Um, Dillard never met with the Eagles, never talked to the Eagles. They never did a background check on him. They never did anything. They just decided Houston Texans want him. We're going to take him. And they took him. So we need a proper talent evaluator, of course. At every situation, every scenario I'm ever going to talk about is under that. Until Lori says that he ain't moving Howie, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for the best. What is that noise? Some kids playing out. They're always playing. Go to school. Go do something with your life, kids. Now, I'm telling you, the Eagles, they can't afford to. They, they got to take advantage of the situation. If I'm the Eagles, I'm playing Sudfeld. I'm resting Miles Sanders. I'm playing J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. I'm resting my veterans. I'm resting the older guys. And I'm, I'm playing a lot of these young guys. Let them play. Uh, you know, you don't have to come out and admit that you're tanking or anything like that. I don't want them to do that. I just want them to play guys that they normally wouldn't play. And and it should take care of themselves. Washington wins. They win the division, okay? But the Eagles, the Eagles could pick as high as three, most likely somewhere between four and six if they lose. If they win, they're going to probably pick ten. Okay, a lot different when you have to pick from... You know, you're picking four or five and then ten. Okay? Not as much as you can do. Very valuable picks. And the Eagles, I mean, there's no there's no way around it. The Eagles got they gotta find a way to lose this game. They can't win it. And putting them on national TV, by the way, makes it worse because now they're gonna feel obligated to win. Okay, and Doug's saying he doesn't think he's gonna get fired in all season and all those kind of things. Well, whatever. Just get him an offensive coordinator. Get him a real offensive coordinator. Get a real quarterback coach. Because Hertz and Carson, they have to work on their mechanics, okay? And we're going to talk a lot about who to trade. People are going to want to trade Wentz. Some people want to trade Hertz. I'm more in the camp of keep them both. Keep them both. Let them both play each other. You know, fight for the starting job. And then, you know, once you know who's going to win that starting job, maybe it's preseason. Maybe somebody gets hurt, like the Brad Bradford situation. And then you can move the guy that's not going to start. I don't mind something like that, but keep them both. Keep them both because the truth is, Hurts, as good as he's played the first few games, he struggled yesterday. He has to learn to become a better passer. It's going to take time. And you're not going to know what you really have in him until maybe after next year, okay? It takes a while to know. Just a few games playing good doesn't mean anything. You know, you don't want to risk trading. You trade Carson away. He goes somewhere. He's the MVP. And then it don't work out for Hurts. That would be a disaster. Keep them both. However, this week versus Washington, I'm telling you, you got to lose this game. You got to you gotta lose it. Uh, I, I don't want to hear, oh, look, dude, you never lose. You got to take pride. You gotta I want to win. I'm not worried about pride. I'm not worried about, about you know, how I feel after this game, or if it's good, or, hey, Washington, we split with you. I'm worried about the pick. I want to win Super Bowls. I want the best players available. I want it all. And you got to get top-tier talent. The only thing that makes sense for the Eagles is to lose this game to Washington. Knock out Dallas. Knock out the Giants. Get the highest pick that you possibly can. And then hit on these picks. If you hit on these picks, you can change things around really quick. But this is an important draft for us. This is a draft where we can replenish top-tier talent. And getting a top-five pick to me right now is critical for the Eagles. So... I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, most likely, knowing the Eagles, they will go out and beat Washington this week. And uh, they will get picked the 10th pick. And then about number 8, number 7, the guy that we all want, the guy that they really need, will get taken. And then we'll settle for somebody we never heard of. That's the most likely situation because that's what happens in the past. However, I plead with the Eagles. This is the week that you want to play your, play your young guys, bring up guys from the practice squad, Fiddle around with things and see what you have. Because if you get that top five pick, it could be huge. It could be huge. You're talking about a possible game-changing talent that you could draft. And between five and ten, oftentimes, that's enough spots that you don't get you don't get the same level of talent. So the Eagles have to take advantage of the situation. It's just the way it is. It doesn't feel good to lose. It doesn't feel good to do this. However, for the future of this team, it's the best thing that they can do. It just is, okay? And uh, look, 
If we lose this game this weekend, we will smoke a victory cigar because if we lock down a top five pick right now, I'm excited. This is going to be one hell of an all season because there's going to be drama. There's going to be quarterback controversy. There's going to be fighting between uh, people who thinks, you know, this guy should go, who thinks that should, guy should go, what we're going to do in the draft. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be excited. It's going to be fun. And oh, by the way, I will be streaming every playoff game uh, in the NFL this year. So I'll be here Saturdays, Sundays, doubleheaders. You want to come hang out with me. With that said, I'm going to let you guys go for the day. I will see you tomorrow. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.